Okay, cool. All right, and good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. I am Rob Hale, the founder and COO of Travel and Relax. And tonight I am very honored to be joined with my wife, Lisa, uh, who serves as our director of celebrations and our amazing behind the scenes staff of Canuck Ramen, uh, who helps us in our ongoing efforts to always provide top level customer service uh, to all of our guests. Travel and Relax was founded 17 years ago on August 1st, 2004, with a mission to unify the world one traveler at a time. These tours, which began in June of 2020, as COVID-19 challenged our world and dramatically changed how people travel, are designed to help you discover the wonders of our world from the comfort of your armchair and perhaps inspire you to travel to amazing destinations. Tonight, we are very pleased to offer you an Africa-focused experience with our partners at Sky Inn Immersive Kenya Excursions, uh, which will be presented to you by our friend Skylar Mason, founder and CEO of Sky Inn. Before Skylar begins, while we do want to hear from you to prevent the distractions of background noise, we request that all attendees mute themselves uh, to prevent that noise. There will be a question and answer period at the end. And if you have questions during the uh, presentation, if you'd like to enter those questions into the chat box, uh, we will get those asked at the end. And now I am very excited and pleased to introduce you Skylar Mason. Thank you, Rob, and thank you for everybody for joining us today. Um, my company, Sky In, goes way beyond just some ordinary business. It's actually based off my childhood experiences, having grown up living amongst local tribes and local communities in Kenya since I was a very young boy. And the best way for me to really show you guys what makes our excursions so unique so different and so special than your typical tour operator is to take you guys on a virtual journey to walk you through step by step of the story the genesis the experiences and the transformational give back of what sky in does to our travelers as well as the local communities in kenya i do like to start off by we are um, headquartered and office here in denver colorado my team and office works as our international tour operator and then we also work um, and have an office and team based in nairobi kenya i highlight that we have a team and an office in kenya because it's always important to work with a credible company who actually has people on the ground on foot on site at all times now my company specializes in working directly with b2b partners such as travel and relax who they are the ones that directly sell it to the clients. So with that being said, with uh, being able to partner up with Travel and Relax, we're here to present to you guys an amazing presentation to walk you through on how you can truly immerse yourself into Kenya, but to see it less like a tourist and more directly like a local. With that being said, I'd love to share my screen and start the presentation. Rob, can you see that okay? Yep, perfect. All right, well, everybody on the screen, Thank you again for joining us and I welcome you all to the journey of Sky In. Jambo. Nice to meet the Maasai. As I was mentioning, my company Sky In goes way beyond just some ordinary business. It's based off my life experiences, having grown up in that part of the world. And I always like to start off by sharing the story, the genesis of how this all came about. Ever since I was uh, two years old, and ever since I was two years old, and to this day, my parents have no idea where this came from because they've ne never been anywhere in Africa before. They said I was so captivated and fascinated in African culture. They said, as a toddler in my diapers, I used to run around the house, banging on the walls, acting like I was part of this tribal village. 
they really said, where did this kid come from? Well, typical children here in the U.S. especially, they want, want to go to Disney World, get toys for the birthday. My dream each and every year was to go to Africa. And at the age of 14, I had some family friends who were from Kenya who invited me to come stay with them and their family for an entire summer. Now, as you can only imagine, at such a young age, going to a world so different than our own, staying with local families, immersing myself into local communities, in the local villages, traveling across Kenya with the local guidance by my side every step of the way, I was able to get an experience unlike any tourist could ever imagine. And the first time I touched down in Kenya, I fell in love and started going back ever since. Well, about six years ago, I was running my family business uh, with my father, and I got to a point that I was done following his footsteps. I was done uh, following his legacy. I felt like my calling was not being fulfilled. And I know that everybody kind of has that own their time in their life where they feel that way. And I knew that one of the things my dad taught me was to create my own legacy, create something that is, fulfills my life into the greatest thing. And I knew right then and there, I needed to change. Had no idea what next steps were gonna be, but I was lost. And what I did was I went home. I went to Kenya and I spent three months down there trying to figure out what my next step in life were. While I was in Kenya, back home, I came to realize there is such a lack of jobs and opportunities for these surrounding villages, the communities. And I told myself right then and there, if I can get back out here and create opportunities, create sustainable ongoing jobs, it would be the biggest fulfillment I could ever do in my life. And right then and there, I knew that was what my calling was to be. Um, when I got back to the States, I didn't know what to do. Do I build something? Do I manufacture something? Do I resource something? What do I do to create a lot of jobs in Kenya? And I was talking to one of my really, really close friends. This is the true story. And I was telling her about this. And just like any good friend, she was challenging me. She was questioning me. She was saying, Skylar, why? Why would you want to do something like this? I mean, you live here in the U.S. You come from a successful family-owned business. Why? There's a plan ahead of you. Why would you want to change that up? And I told her, I said, you don't know what I've seen, what I've experienced, how I've been treated and witnessed for the last decade of going to a world that I don't look like them. I sure don't sound like them, but you know what they do? They make me feel like I am one of them. And her response right after was, Skylar, the reason you care so much, the reason I have goosebumps from your ability to talk and share your experiences is because the way you've been able to experience Kenya, not like a tourist, but directly like a local. Don't you think there's other travelers, adventure seekers, who would love to have an off the beaten path type of immersive, transformative experience you had growing up? And my answer is absolutely. But nobody can touch the destinations, the communities that I'm able to go to and experience. And that right then and there is where the genesis of Sky came about, to be able to duplicate the same immersive, authentic transformative and sustainable experiences that I had of traveling through Kenya through the lens of a local, but do it in a way that's going to create uh, sustainable jobs and opportunities for the local communities and the surrounding villages to better their lives and better their circumstances. As I mentioned, I have an entire team and office based in Nairobi, Kenya. My entire team, my families, my communities are 100% locals, and they will always remain 100% locals. The reason to give back is to be able to support them and create difference in their lives. Here's a quick uh, message from the founder. Um, I believe there's someone on here that they're, uh, Nicholas, I'm see, noticing that you're not muted. Do you mind just muting yourself kindly? Um, just because there's some background noise. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, here's a quick message from the founder. My name is Skylar Mason. Ever since I was a young boy, I have traveled to different parts of Africa, living amongst the locals. And what they have showed me is the true value of life. They have brought me into their lives as one of them. I truly believe that the best way to travel is to see it how a local would see it. I created Sky Inn because I want to give the same experiences to travelers, adventurers, who want to see a new perspective on life and be able to immerse themselves into this beautiful and captivating, fascinating culture through the lens of a local. This is not meant for everybody, but those people who are itching to explore beyond the beaten path of a typical tourist, then Sky Inn is right for you. From the beautiful beaches of Mombasa, wildlife, its culture, to all the different tribal villages, your host family will be by your side to make sure your trip is one you will never forget. Kenny has changed my life, and I know it will change yours.
Now, throughout this entire presentation, I'm going to be highlighting many different elements of what makes Skyen so unique, so different, and so special. And one of the greatest elements is that we connect all our travelers directly with highly vetted local host families. Not only do travelers have the opportunity to come to Kenya and stay with the local family in their highly vetted suburban homestay for part of the excursion, but as you travel across the country and all the different exclusive and immersive experiences that we offer, our local team travels with the guests by their side every step of the way. They're there for your insights and tips for your local knowledge. They're there for your personal resources, but most importantly, they're there for your safety and security. Having been in business for over five years now, all our travelers come back saying the same thing. They could never imagine doing what they did, seeing what they saw, or experience Kenya how they experienced it without the local guidance of our team by their side every step of the way. Now, all our host families are highly vetted. They speak fluent English. They go through high amounts of internal comprehensive training, and they're also background and screened through the government each and every year. Now, I would love to introduce you to some of our families. Hello, Jumbo. We are the Moragas. We are excited to host you and take you around Kenya in this Kai-In adventure. Hi, we are the Muhindi family and we're excited that you're coming to visit us here in Kenya and we are thrilled to take you on this amazing skiing adventure. See you soon. Bye. Hi, this is the Wachita family. We're glad to have you in our country for the Sky in adventures. Hope you will enjoy learning our culture, eating Kenyan food and touring our country. Bye. But the best part about this experience is that it doesn't start once you touch down in Kenya. It actually starts by getting to know your host family ahead of time through video chats. It allows travelers and our families and our local team to build the bond, the relationship, the trust, the confidence way before you even touch down in Kenya. It also allows our team and our local families to get to know our clients far in advance so we can best accommodate them, knowing if they have any food allergies or sensitivities, if they have any disabilities, handicaps, or restrictions. Here at Sky, we are all about family, not strangers. And our travelers say it's an experience of its own to walk outside those airport doors and you're not looking for some random guy with some sign to take you to your hotel and lodge. You're looking for your host family. You're looking for familiar faces with the biggest warm welcoming hugs to welcome you into their country and it allows you to feel like you belong and allows you to feel like you're coming home. Now getting into some of the experiences. Here at Sky Inn, if there's any experience of what makes us so unique and so special is the indigenous tribal villages that we take our travelers to. Typical safari companies during their itineraries, you'll be up during your safari and they put in a, uh, a Maasai village uh, visit. What that really consists of is a very commercialized village. You're there for one hour, you pay as you get in, you sit on a bench and you watch performers perform, jumping up and down, um, dancing and walking around the, the, the pop-up home, the huts, and then you're out. It's very commercialized. It's more of an act, it's more of a demonstration. Here at Sky Inn, we take our travelers far off the beaten path into remote tribal villages that no tourists go to. Villages where you actually get to meet and engage with the chiefs of the community. You get to storytell with the tribal elders inside their huts, learn the roles of the woman and the warriors from the roots of it all. This is to give our travelers such a deep exploration of their culture, their traditions, and rituals from the roots of it all. So during all our excursions, we offer, uh, we take our travelers to two separate distinctive and tr uh, tribal villages. One is the well-known Maasai. The other one is the Mijikenda tribe. Two full days. You're not spending the night in the village. You're there for the entire day, and then you come back to your accommodations. Um, but not only do travelers have such an enriching experience with these tribes, but you are creating opportunity. You're creating sustainable jobs. You're creating sustainable income coming into these communities that they don't have elsewhere. So by your engagement, by them welcoming you to show you what their lives are about, it is creating opportunity that, like I said, they don't have in other ways. Now, every single time we get travelers down to Kenya on our groups, I just got back from Kenya a week ago, or one of the people in the groups even mentioned it there, they always ask one of our representatives, how in the world does Sky Inn afford this opportunity? I mean, this is the real deal. This is what you see in Nat Geo Wild. How? It's because of the relationship I have with these tribes. I have been a part of these tribes for over a decade now. They call me their son. 
they, I am a part of their family. I've been coming to them for so, so many years. So when I say I can take my travelers to places that other companies can, it's because of my life experiences growing up with these communities. Now some more experiences. One of the big destinations we like to take our travelers to is Mombasa. Mombasa is the second biggest city of Kenya, but what it's known for, it's a coastal city with absolutely drop dead gorgeous beaches. If you guys ever heard of Zanzibar, it's actually right near Zanzibar. It's just a little north on the Kenya side. Zanzibar is on the southern side. Um, it's known for its white sand, crystal blue water beaches that you can see right here. Um, during our excursions, you're going to be able to spend some beautiful time on these exotic beaches. You're going to be staying at beautiful, beautiful luxury beachfront resorts right on the water. But the best part about it is we're not just going to be posted up on a beach the entire time. We're going to be taking you on different authentic experiences while you're in Mombasa as well. We're going to be taking you to multiple different slave trade era monuments and museums to learn about the past ancient times of the slave trade. We're going to put you on these very authentic sailing voyages where you're on these authentic traditional dow boats you see in the photo. Um, your crew, your skippers are going to be drumming and uh, singing to Coke cans and water bottles. You're going to be sailing the Indian Ocean while you're going to see dolphins swim right up to the, uh, to the boats. We're going to take you out to all the coral reefs and you're going to go on a snorkeling excursion. I've been all across the world and Kenya is within my top three of the best snorkeling I've ever seen because of how clear the water is, how warm it is, the, all the different variety of colorful fish and reefs as well as dolphins, sea turtles, and so much more to see. And then also when you're in Mombasa, we're gonna take you on an old town city tour to learn about the Swahili culture and where it all originates from. Some more experiences that we take our travelers to local schools and local orphanages to spend time engaged with the children. Hear some of the stories, being able to give back and support them and learn about the education and how they put a proper home for these children. I've been coming to these places for a decade now. They are my children. They are my siblings, not my children. They're my siblings. They are my family. And so I design my company to everywhere we go, all your engagement is supporting them. So when it comes to the local orphanage, part of the proceeds of your trip goes towards well-needed supplies that we actually give to you as the traveler to bring into the orphanage during your visit. This is not a sad, unhappy environment. Some people have that perspective that it's they're in crumb and they're sad. It's, it's a very exhilarating experience to be able to gauge and see the joyful children. And you really appreciate things by being able to uh, support these and, and be able to experience what these are all about. Now, as we all know, Kenya is absolutely well known for its majestic wildlife. So we want to incorporate this into all our excursions. So during our excursions, you're going to be visiting multiple different wildlife sanctuaries. One is the Reno Giraffe Center, as well as the David Sheldrick Baby Elephant Orphanage. Now, these are not zoos. These are rehabilitation wildlife sanctuaries where they rescue these animals from the wild, bring them into the sanctuary to uh, rehabilitate them, to send them back into the wild. But this is, affords the opportunity for travelers to learn about the conservation of these majestic animals, but also affords them the opportunity to get up close with them as well. And then, of course, we're going to take you on a handcraft, we like to call it a soul fari. Everybody knows Kenya is well known for its majestic wildlife, its safaris. If you guys look up number one uh, safari destination in the world, Masai Mara is the number one place to be able to go to, Masai Mara National Reserve. The Lion King is based out of Kenya. Akuna Matata, no worries, that's the language they speak in, um, in Kenya, is Swahili. A lot of people don't know this, but Simba, the name of the character in uh, Lion King, Simba actually means lion in Swahili. Safari actually means journey in Swahili. So it's really cool that like the whole Lion King kind of prospers um, what Kenya is really all about. But here's a really fun, great fun fact for you guys. Over 30% of my business are reoccurring travelers who have already been to Africa and Kenya before. The reason they come back and travel with us is because their previous trip to Kenya was on a beautiful luxury safari. And they said it was breathtaking. Everybody wants to go on a second safari. I've been on 40 plus and I still love going on safaris. But the thing that they said was when they got to Kenya, they realized there was more to Kenya than just its wildlife, its people, its culture, its tradition, its beaches, its rituals, its children, its stories. And they missed out on that opportunity. Any little culture they had on the big luxury safari was visiting a pop-up commercialized village, as well as maybe a Maasai warrior at your lodge holding tea for you. They said it was felt like it was more exploiting, and they felt like they really didn't get to connect deeply with the people and its culture. They passed by the communities, and they went directly to the national parks, directly to the lodges and the hotels. Here at Sky M, 
we make sure that we offer the most authentic blend of both culture and wildlife all in a grand scheme of a Kenyan excursion. Now here at Skyan and with Travel and Relax, we are offering two different types of excursions. So Travel and Relax offers custom tailor-made excursions. If you guys wanna travel on your own privately, you wanna pick your own dates, you wanna curate your own itinerary, your own length of trip, then a custom excursion suited for you. But some exciting news is that Travel and Relax has put together a pre-planned 12-day immersive cultural and wildlife excursion across Kenya this coming October. Um, after this presentation, we're gonna walk you through the adventure guide and the itinerary, the pricing, et cetera. Um, so this is an opportunity to not just go on a 12 day excursion, but Rob and Lisa, the founder of Travel and Relax, as well as myself, founder of Sky Inn, we're gonna also be joining this group excursion in October to lead you across Kenya and show you what Kenya has all to offer. So I encourage you guys, if this is something you're uh, potentially looking at, traveling right now, I just got back from Kenya. I had a big group of 10 people go. I just got back a week ago. I leave again on June uh, 13th with another group. This is the time to travel with the, the travel restrictions limiting. Um, no more having to get tested. If you are fully vaccinated, to get, you don't have to get any more uh, PCR testing in order to go to, to enter Kenya, which is amazing. And so I like to say, if you are adventurous, and you like to travel, this is the time to do it. So keep that in mind. We're offering that pre-planned group excursion, which I will go over. Um, that's this coming October, as well as if you can't make those dates or you do want a private type of experience, Travel and Relax will uh, curate a custom excursion just for you guys. Now, the best part about this is that all our excursions are all inclusive. From the second you touch down in Kenya to the second you take off, everything is covered. That's why being a U.S. company as well as a Kenya-based company, we can rest assured that we take care of all logistics, planning, everything, arrangements, all covered through us. So all your uh, room and board accommodations, and we're going to show you a different variety of accommodations that we offer, all your meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinners, we have our own private drivers and vehicles to accommodate our guests the entire excursion, round-trip domestic airfare, your village experiences, your safari, everything is included with Sky Inn. Now, the things that are not included with Sky Inn that Travel Relax will be able to assist with is your pre-travel, such as your international airfare, uh, visa, actually we will help assist you with your visa, travel insurance, vaccinations, et cetera. So at the end of the day, best part about it is from start to finish, between Sky Inn and the partnership with Travel and Relax, we have you covered every step of the way. Now let's get into accommodations, because this is important. During all our excursions, we offer pretty much about three different type of accommodations that you will be staying at throughout your excursion. Now, one of the uh, um, accommodations is an exclusive Nairobi homestay. All our homestays are right in the capital city of Nairobi, near major hospitals, police stations, the U.S. Embassy, um, the international airports, et cetera, and all in beautiful suburban homes that you find very similar here in the States. Um, all our homes are in safe, secured, vetted in neighborhoods. All the amenities have private, comfortable bedrooms, complete bathrooms with running hot water showers, toilets, accessible Wi-Fi, electricity. Now, I mentioned... Um, usually on our excursions, our excursions are usually about anywhere from 10 to 14. The one that um, Rob and Lisa are putting together is a 12 a night excursion. Um, four to five nights is not spent um, consecutively. It's actually spread out throughout the itinerary that you'll be at the homestay. Now, if you guys are, even though the homestay is such an exclusive experience and such a transformative thing to do, and keep in mind, you get to know your family before you even come to Kenya. You get to build that relationship. Their homes are similar homes. These are some examples that you find here in the US. But if you guys are like, wow, these itineraries are very, very attractive, I will show you and prove it. Uh, but you just are not accustomed to wanting to stay in a homestay during the excursion, we can opt out of the homestay and host you at private hotels nearby during that homestay portion of the trip. Do keep in mind, a homestay, you're not there during the day. You're there for evening and overnight, uh, for dinner and overnight. Um, when, during the each and every day, you're out and about doing all these different experiences. Although, uh, like I said, we offer the option to opt out. Most travelers who do opt out of the homestay, they always regret it because they feel like they didn't realize how beautiful and safe the homes are and what an enriching experience it is. When we take you to Mombasa, the coast, we're gonna be hosting you at beautiful beachfront resorts right on the water, overlooking the ocean. These are actually some real examples of the lodges that we use. So these are the resorts. Um, 
our, for hands down, our travelers love the resorts that we partner with when it comes to being in Mombasa. So just so you guys know, um, on the 12 day itinerary, which we'll walk you through, five nights is spent at a Nairobi homestay, four nights is spent at a, um, at a beachfront resort in Mombasa, and then when you go on your safari, which is going to be three nights, we host you at these uh, luxury safari lodges and safari camps inside the national parks. What's incredible about these safari camps is that it's like glamping. You're in these big tented camps, private tents, don't get me wrong, they're private. Um, they have beds, they have bathrooms, they have electricity, they have Wi-Fi, et cetera. What's incredible is that you can hear the nature at night. You can hear the lions roaring, the hyenas uh, laughing. You can see all the stars. So it's amazing to have this type of glamping experience inside the national parks. So that's another reason why people love to travel with us is not because of just the variety of different experiences, but also the variety of different accommodations you will be staying at during your excursion. Now, here's a quick testimonial video for you. I met Sydney about four years ago, and since then we've been kind of talking about exploring the world together. We chose Skyan because of the ability to see so many different things. They were able to immerse us into the actual culture and the host families. They were there to really show us what it is to be a real local. At the end of the trip, I considered them to be family. Going to the beach was definitely a highlight for me. Watching wildlife, going to these indigenous tribes that not many tourists are able to go to, it was something that I will never forget. What's really awesome about Sky Inn is they care about being able to support the local community. We were able to go to the orphanage. It really showed me that no matter where you are in the world, we're all in this together. Sky Inn touched our soul and made us see life so much differently, and that's the only way I will travel now. Now, I will be the first person to tell you, this type of experience isn't suited for everybody. But if you're that type of adventurer, traveler, that likes to go to a destination and really build deep connections with the, with the locals, with the people, with the culture, being able to see the landscapes, the wildlife, the culture, the villages, and being able to really see it more through the lens of a local while also supporting the communities that you're engaging with, keep that in mind, 100% of my team, 100% of our communities are all locals. I will never bring my own kind to support the local jobs in that part of the world. And that's what Sky is all about. If you guys are immersive travelers, there's not a high level of physical activity. I do warn you guys, our typical age group is anywhere from about 35 to 80 years old. There's not a lot of physical activity. The only thing that there is, is uh, being able to walk a little bit when it comes to around the villages. If you do have some disabilities with the walking, we can certainly accommodate to that as well. And then also the snorkeling, so getting in the water, the water's super warm. If you aren't good swimmers, we do have our own uh, crew and our own skippers who jump in the water with you and are with you by your side every step of the way to make sure you can take yours. We've, we've had some clients who have never swam before, but they're risk takers and they did it and they loved it. Um, and that's what this is really all about. But if you're also people that want a good full experience of immersion, then yes, the homestay, the villages, that's all suited. But if you're also someone that says, hey, you know what? I like private accommodations throughout the entire stay. You can certainly opt into that as well. Now I have one last video to wrap up this presentation to walk you guys through step-by-step -step of what this incredible journey looks like. It's time to experience Africa in a whole new way. Anyone can travel like a tourist, but with Sky In, you become a local. Sky In helps you experience travel in a unique, authentic way by not just seeing the culture, but living it. Sky Inn, we connect you to our local host families long before your trip even begins. After months of breaking the ice, meeting your family for the first time feels just like coming home. Gather around the family table and experience what true African home cooking is all about. 
venture off throughout Nairobi and really see where the locals go. Step outside your comfort zone and immerse yourself in unique adventures you won't and can't have anywhere else. Don't just see a village, but live in one of ours for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Deep your feet into the beautiful sandy beaches of Mombasa. Get up close and personal with nature. Go on a safari and see animals in their own natural habitat. See firsthand the vibrancy of the Maasai and their unique way of life. Sleep under the stars while nature thrives all around you. Travel is best when you are doing it with family. Sky Inn connects you with our open and loving families who will be there by your side to ensure your trip is one you won't forget. Once you are ready to live like a local, just Sky Inn, Kenya. And right there, everybody, is what the journey of Sky Inn is all about. Thank you so much for being able to uh, sit and uh, be able to experience what this is. Like I said, the whole point about this is not just to sell or promote an excursion, but it's to educate you, educate you on what else is out there than just an only safari. And keep that in mind, if you guys are comparing different itineraries, if, if you're destined to go to Africa, our safaris are exactly like everybody else with the same well-equipped vehicles, drivers, guides, accommodations, et cetera. But what makes this unique is you get that immersive cultural sailing, village experience, homestay, et cetera. Now, I would love to be able to uh, walk through um, the itinerary that we um, have put together. Um, like I said, this is a 12-day um, itinerary um, in October of this year. Um, this is an op a great opportunity to be able to join um, Rob and his team um, with Travel and Relax and his uh, wife, Lisa, and myself to be able to come and ex really experience all that Kenya has to offer. So I know I'm gonna walk you kind of through our adventure guide. Rob will be uh, following up and sending you guys all this um, that has all the details. Um, but certainly this walks you through more and I'm not gonna take the time to sit here and read this, but it walks you through more about the company, the genesis behind it um, and what makes us unique, the different types of excursions from a pre-plan of the 12 day to also custom travel as well. And then this is the itinerary. Um, as I mentioned, uh, it's a 12 day itinerary and on day zero is when you guys would arrive. Keep in mind, our local team, your host families, as well as our private drivers and vehicles will be waiting right outside the airport doors to welcome you guys into Kenya, with the biggest warm welcoming hugs. Um, once you guys, uh, once we, you guys arrive, we will take you to the homestays for, uh, to settle in for dinner and overnight stay. Now on day one, it's a full day Maasai village experience. As I mentioned, this is a true, real tribal community that no tourists go to for a full day experience. I mean, you're going to meet and engage with the chiefs of the tribes. You're going to learn about their watering, uh, how they bring up their watering uh, from the watering hole to building their homes and huts to making fire from their hands to all the beadwork that the women do. Part of the experience is actually seeing how they slaughter a goat. That is something that if you don't want to see or you don't want to be a part of, that certainly you can step away and that's no big deal, but that's a part of their traditions. And it's a very, very sacred thing to do and the blessings that go into it. Um, you're going to eat with the villagers. You're going to share memories with them. You're going to build deep connections with them, storytell with the elders inside their huts. It is to give you such a deep exploration of who they are. And I'm letting you guys know that a lot of our travelers say they get their money's worth after just day one because it's such an enriching and enchanting type of experience. Now on day two, you're gonna visit the giraffe sanctuary, the baby elephant orphanage, and then in the afternoon you're gonna spend some time at the local children's orphanage. You'll see the first three nights is spent at a Nairobi homestay with the opportunity to opt out of, uh, to a hotel, although we highly recommend the homestay portion. Uh, day three, you're going to take a very, very short flight. It's about a 55-minute flight over to Mombasa Coast. You're going to visit Fort Jesus. This has to do with the slave trade. And then you're going to go on an old town city tour around um, Old Town Mombasa to learn a, uh, 
about the Swahili culture and where it originates from. Day four, you're going to go on a Wasini Island sailing and snorkeling excursion on these very authentic Dow boats. Um, you're going to, like I said, the crew's going to be drumming and singing. They put on a performance on the boat. It's a very, very authentic experience. You're going to see dolphins. I mean, this is a picture that we took. Dolphins swim right up to the boat. You're going to snorkel the pristine coral reefs of the Indian Ocean. It's such a fun experience. And then you're going to visit the Shimoni slave caves. This is where they used to hold the slaves back in the day underground in these caves back in the 1800s before they departed them out. It's such a touching experience to learn about this. And honestly, you can kind of envision all that went on because they still have a lot of the chains up and a lot of the things to show you uh, really what took place. Day five, we have a full relaxing day at the beach. Uh, the beachfront resorts, we're going to have that all covered. All your meals will be covered. But we decided that it's best to, in the middle of the itinerary, because you're going to be staying on beautiful, drop tech, gorgeous beaches, to have a relaxing day, just to be able to chill, unwind, kind of gather everything in. Um, we also can set up extra activities, such as camel riding on the beach. There is jet skiing. There's parasailing if you guys choose to. So there are all these different accommodations or uh, activities that you guys can do. But a lot of people just like to be able to use the resort. Uh, the resort you will be staying at during this portion has 19 infinity pools, which I'll show you examples. Um, it has a beautiful, beautiful beachfront um, and a beautiful bars right on the, on the beaches and different kind of restaurants, et cetera. And then day uh, six, you're going to, uh, day six, you're going to be visiting our other tribe. It's called the Mijikenda tribe. They live in a beautiful sacred Kaya forest. This is a forest made up of like palm trees. It's absolutely breathtaking. Um, this is a picture right here of the Mijikenda. Totally, totally, totally separate tribe uh, from the Maasai, the uh, first tribe that we're going to be taking you to. They sound different. They look different. They dress different. Their homes are different. Everything is so different. And it's the two last remaining indigenous tribes that make up Kenya. You'll see that, and this is a full day experience as well. Now you're going to see the four nights in Mombasa are spent at Mombasa Beachfront Resorts. I'll show you uh, the, the accommodations that we uh, will be hosting you out here in a second. Then day seven, you're going to have a leisure morning at the beach. You're going to be able to sleep in. You're going to be able to just enjoy and wine just like the other day at the beach. And then we're going to take a late afternoon flight back to Nairobi because Nairobi is like a middle point for the next destination. And you're going to go back to your Nairobi homestay uh, for dinner and overnight. And then day eight is when we start your wildlife safari. So we're going to be taking you on a four day, three night safari to two separate distinctive um, national parks. One is Lake Nakuru National Park, known for um, seeing the rhinos, specifically the rhinos. People go there specifically to see rhinos because you're guaranteed to see them because it's more of their natural habitat there. Um, flamingos, uh, baboons, I mean, you'll see lions, you'll see giraffes, you'll see a bunch of different um, animals there but they're known for the rhinos and the flamingos um, because it's that's the type of terrain. It's a big, beautiful, swampy lake. And you're, the accommodations you stay at are on top of the hill overlooking the entire lake. And I'll show you here in a second. Then we're going to take you to the jewel of Africa, Masai Mara National Reserve, rated top in the world for, um, for uh, safaris. Um, it is right next to the Serengeti. So the Serengeti is on the Tanzania side. The Masai Mara is on the, um, is on the Kenyan side. And it's the same ecosystem. If you guys ever heard of the Great Wildebeest Migration, that's when all the wildebeest um, migrate from the Serengeti into the Masai Mara. Same ecosystem, but what's known for the Masai Mara is because of how many animals, different species and varieties of animals you can see in one ecosystem. It's breathtaking. You can see lions and leopards and giraffes and elephants and wildebeest and crocodiles and hippos all in the same day all in their natural habitat. So you're going to spend two nights at luxury safari camps inside uh, Masai Mara National Reserve. And then on day 11, uh, you're going to have a, another morning game drive, and then you're going to depart back to Nairobi and come back to the Nairobi homestay for one more night. And on that one more night, it's kind of a special night. The family likes to put on a special little gathering. They like to invite some of their other, um, whether it's their children, their grandchildren, they like to be able to spend time uh, and come and have like a big farewell gathering. And then day 12, it depends when your guys' flights leave. Most flights leave in the evenings. So we do like to open up that day. And um, we usually like to take people around Nairobi, the city, and kind of tour around. We take you to a, it's called the KICC building. It's a skyscraper. And you get to go on the top that has a helipad. And you get a whole 360 panoramic view of all of Nairobi, the national park you see from the distance, uh, Nairobi National Park. You can see so many stuff. It's a beautiful, beautiful view. Uh, and then we like to take you to some more local street markets for last minute souvenirs and um, artifacts and stuff as well. You guys can see that everything's included. We include all your different accommodations. And keep in mind, in the homestay, roughly about one to three people live in the homestay. Don't think there's going to be a massive family of 10 people. It's all congested. There's a lot of people. There's crying babies. 
None of that. Between one to three people. Most of our families are in the retired phase. So usually about anywhere from about late 40s up until about 60s. Um, and so they, their children are grown, but they like to be able to have their children, their grandchildren come visit. But trust me, um, you're not going to be staying in the house uh, full of people. Um, and all our families are vaccinated, just so you guys know as well. Now, all your accommodations, all your meals are included, all the private drivers, round trip domestic airfare, everything is included. You can see what's not included is the international airfare, is your visa. Visa is super simple to get. Um, we, have, we provide you instructions that literally walks you through step-by-step. -step. It's online, it's e-visa, it costs $50. Um, and you pretty much get it within three to four business days. It's super simple. With our instructions, we'll walk you through. We have to send you guys a letter to be able to uh, apply it to the visa, but we will help assist with that. Um, vaccination, travel insurance, and then personal items. I know it says beverages outside of homestay. So it is a custom thing around all of Africa that uh, when you stay at a, a resort, you eat at a restaurant, you're at the camps, all foods included, but beverages aren't. So like a soda or alcohol, um, those are not included. So that's one thing that is just a separate thing, but it's very, very cheap. Uh, we do provide bottled water throughout your entire stay as well. But when you are at the home stays, we're in the villages, we provide beverages all there. It's just when you're at like a resort or a hotel, the only thing not included is your beverages. Now getting into this, the dates are October 20th through November 1st. So please note that you have to leave the day before. So that means you'd have to leave on October 19th. You'd arrive in Kenya on October 20th. You would then leave Kenya on, on November 1st and you'd get back to the States on November 2nd. That is pretty much from with travel time, a full exactly 14 days, two weeks. So um, like I said, those are the dates. And then this is the pricing. If anybody else looks out there, of what price goes for, for full days or 12 days, all inclusive of what a safari goes for, we are extremely, extremely competitive with our price and the accommodations are the same elsewhere. But what makes us unique is that, like I said, you're gonna go there and get the beautiful safari everybody else offers, but you're gonna get that cultural component as well. Um, we do offer the price you see for 5427 is for double occupancy. So we do like to tell people, um, it's sometimes advised to bring um, somebody else uh, or to go in even groups if you guys wanna stay with people that you, uh, or you know, of course. We do offer an additional, uh, or for a single occupancy, it's an additional $600 on top of that. And then Travel and Relax is having a very big special. They're um, off doing an early bird special. So if you guys book by May 18th, which is exactly one week from today, you put in your deposit, you guys save $500 off per person. Now, all we require is 25% deposit, and the remaining balance is not due until two months before your trip, 60 days. So that means you put 25% down, the remaining balance won't be until... August 20th for the remaining balance of your trip. So if, it, if money is a budget and you've got to budget up or save up, you have time to be able to do that because the remaining amounts is not due till August. Um, obviously, uh, Travel and Relax will be your main contact point. So please reach out to Rob Hale, his number, his email, their website is provided here. They do have a whole Africa page on their website as well. Um, this has a map of where you guys will be going. Um, you will be below the uh, equator. So you will be in the Southern hemisphere the entire time. And then you'll see there's an FAQ at the end that walks you through just uh, uh, you know frequently asked questions and all that. So keep in mind, Rob will be sending you guys this, um, this adventure guide. Now getting into some of the accommodations, um, let me show you uh, for what the accommodations look like when you're outside of the homestay. So when it comes to the beachfront resorts, this is one you'll be staying at. It's called Swahili Beach Resort. It's right on the water. It has this Arabic feel to it. Our travelers love this. They say if, if they can give six stars, this would be it. Um, this is a beautiful resort. It has 19 infinity pools. It's right on the ocean. And just to show you guys a little bit of what the ocean or what the beaches, sorry, what the beaches look like, this is what the beaches are. They're exotic, pristine, white sand, crystal blue water beaches. So that's why we like to spend some beautiful time in there as well and have some downtime too, to yourself. Now, the next uh, accommodations is these are what, what some of the safari camps look like inside the national parks. As I mentioned, it's a glamping experience, private tented camps, but they have the furniture, they have bathrooms, they have showers, they have hot water, and the food is fantastic. That we always, in our reviews, we always get people saying that the, few, the food throughout their entire experience is a huge part of what makes up the trip. And then here's another um, lodge that you'll be staying in Lake the Crew. It's uh, these like TP little uh, lodges that are overlooking that overlook the whole um, lake. They're beautiful and people love, love, love the accommodations. So with that being said, guys, that's kind of the itinerary. That's you have the pricing, you have the um, 
when it comes to the certain different accommodations, please do note that um, that uh, we offer that pre-planned group excursion, but if you're also not interested and you're wanting to do a private trip or pick your own dates or anything like that, then please uh, reach out to Travel and Relax and they'll be able to put together a uh, custom excursion for you guys. And that'll be it. Great. That was awesome, Scholar, and thank you very much. And if there are any questions, I'll be happy to answer those at this time. Nicholas, do you happen to have any questions? All right, well. Okay. Great. Well, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate the time. And uh, if you have any further up questions, please reach out to Travel and Relax and they'll be able to support it. And then Rob, I believe you said you're gonna be passing along their um, the adventure guide and a follow-up email, right? Exactly, yep, definitely will. And we'd like to thank everyone for joining us tonight. And you will be getting follow-up information as Skylar had mentioned. And if there are any questions in the interim, please feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to get those answered. All right. Great, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.